Hey everyone, so I super sped up this video. Um, this is a 12 inch uh, record I was playing around with. I wanted to try a cell activator test. Um, so the two colors I showed you in the beginning, I had tried to make them into a cell activator and I used too much flow troll so they really didn't perform the right way. So since I was testing it out, I decided to try to do a reverse palette knife swipe because my first effort was a complete disaster. <laughs> so um, what I have down there is Egyptian coin from Color Art and Lamp Black from Amsterdam, I'm pretty sure. And I think I used pomegranate. And I used a mixture of pixie dust. Um... Interference Gold and Chantilly Lace from Color Art that I had used in a previous pour. So all of the times I've tried to do the reverse palette knife swipe where you basically lay things down in reverse. You put your cell activator down first, then your color, and then you swipe it. Um, it's really hard for me to do because I put too much color down and I always end up dripping it everywhere, which you can see is happening here. So I was using a tiny little uh, swiping tool, um, and as soon as I realized that this was going to be probably an epic disaster in a composition sort of way, I just continued to practice. Um, so that's what I would encourage you guys to do, is if, if you realize the painting is not going to turn out maybe the way you intended, use it as a way to practice. Um, so the reverse palette knife is a lot of fun, but it takes some practice to get that right. I could also see that the cell activator I made, it was selling up, but it wasn't selling up exactly the way I wanted it to because I used too much Floetrol. And so the Floetrol was breaking down that mica in the paint. So I'm going to keep working on that and I'll, I will get it down because I know it works because other people have made it work. I think that I was just going by the weight of the paint when I made it and it was too heavy. So I kept adding Floetrol and that was not the right thing to do. So as you can see, I'm making like little paint snakes here. Um, so I ended up tinkering with this for like 40 minutes. So I reduced this video down to 10 minutes and I thought, you know, I, I really, I really make it a high priority to share things with you guys that are complete fails or something completely different than what I had intended. And I didn't see any point in scraping this. This is a record. Um, I'm probably not going to paint over it because it's a record. So that color that I just showed you is called Georgia Peach. And it's from the first glitz line that Color Art put out. And I have not used it a whole bunch. That purple color is Pretty Petunia. And that's the other one I tried to make a cell activator out of. That's a prison pour color. Um, <clears throat> but I did the same thing. I kind of didn't do the greatest job. And how I mixed it. So I was experimenting and just putting some different colors. And this is kind of where um, I was like, the composition's already all wackadoo. So I'm just going to keep playing around and I'm going to keep adding things and I'm going to, you know, embellish it where I want. And if it's a complete disaster, then whatever. It's, <laughs> it's practice, right? So I just kept recording it and I was like, well, there's no way that I would sit there and watch somebody just mess something up over and over and over again for 30 minutes. So I decided to go ahead and just do a voiceover and just kind of tell you what was going on. Um, I end up like not loving the composition, but I was like, you know what, this could be kind of a decent clock because with a clock, you kind of need the composition to either make a lot of sense for a clock or to just kind of be everywhere because the clock can kind of draw interest itself. And I was like, maybe. So let me know below um, once you kind of see what I end up doing with this. Do you think it would be a, kind of a cool clock? Or do you think that I should not waste my clock parts on this mess? <laughs> so now what I'm doing is just trying to kind of uh, balance out the color. Um, I have a lot of the initial colors in one spot and then some of the other colors in some other places. Um, so now you can see I'm taking a skewer and wrecking it and drawing some lines to try to connect some things a little bit. Um, the thicker part, so this is a coffee stirring stick. I got this idea from Kathleen, from Kathleen Miller. 
So the coffee stirrers have a narrow skewer edge and then they have the thicker edge and so you can kind of decide what you're going for and um, use whichever side is going to get you the result you're looking for. So that's kind of what I did is I wrecked some of the parts with uh, the thicker edge and then you'll see that I come back in and um, add some accent colors. If you saw one of the swipes I did a while back um, where I said my husband saved it, um, <clears throat> I added some accents in sort of the pillow cells area with some interference colors. So um, what you'll see is I go and I dip the skewer in the Georgia peach color and I um, dip it in the the pixie dust mixture and I kind of add some accent colors um, to just kind of add some interest plus I had to find a way to connect all this madness together <laughs> which I'm not sure that I did or not but um, I had fun I mean sometimes you just have to like go with it you know and I think if we as content creators only show you when it works as a fluid artist yourself you're going to be really frustrated when you have days like this because that's not the reality you're going to see all around you. You're going to see every person that you might watch or learn from has a success every single time that they paint. That is just not the reality. I don't care how experienced you are. No one successfully achieves every single thing that they try to paint. That's, that's art. It's not perfect. So I try to share these with you. I just try to make them kind of short. So if you're like, oh, if we're going to watch a disaster, let's watch it in 10 minutes versus maybe 35 minutes. So just to let you know kind of my process and what I was thinking. So you can see I have the narrow part of the skewer, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm dipping it in that golden peach color, which is a phenomenal color, not golden peach, Georgia peach, golden peach is TLP. Georgia peach and it's a phenomenal color and it's got so so much depth but you know I've been in a real peach kick lately and peach is a very popular color right now too so I have some ideas for where I'd like to use this color and some other things um, some blooms and stuff too um, and then here's the pixie dust color so I'm just dragging my skewer into the color and then dragging it through some parts of the paint to add some accent lines. And that was a lot of fun. Um, that's just another way that you can kind of tweak your fluid art. Like I could really go back in and do some more work on this and try to make this make more sense if I was that invested in it. That's the fun part is unless something is super muddy and really gross looking, you can really keep working on it until you get something that you want. The other thing I could do is I could take a small paintbrush and add some like shimmery lines or details. I'm just not that invested in, in that. I spent a lot of time on this already. <laughs> so and it's not like this is a wood round. This is a record, right? So this is not like super expensive material. I did go ahead and resin this um, and I'll try to show you guys a clip at the end. Um, my husband was doing some resin work and I love it when he does resin work because he always makes too much resin and then he comes in with several ounces already mixed up that I don't have to mix it up, mix up. And I already have things, um, just waiting to be resined all the time. Um, so on one particular day he did that and I had this already dry and I was like, well, what the heck, you know, why not? And so I went ahead and resined it just to see. And I asked my husband cause you know, he saves so many of our paintings or my paintings that I might normally trash. I was like, what do you think of this? <laughs> He's like, well, it's not your normal, <laughs> which means, mm, you know, He's like, but it's, it's cool. I was like, yeah, it's weird, but we'll see. And the, the gold and the black mixed with the pomegranate kind of created this cool brown color. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going through with, um, various colors you can see I'm wrecking some spots that are kind of, um, that kind of stick out. I'm adding some pomegranate into the color mixture here and there too. So, so yeah, this is 40 something minutes of 
insanity that I just reduced to 10 for you. <laughs> so I'm going to have a close-up coming up for you, and then I will try to add in um, a shot of the the resin result. It resined nicely, and it dried nicely. Um, and, you know, I don't, I don't love it. It's not my favorite, um, but I don't hate it. So don't forget to check out, sorry, my voice is cracking. Don't forget to check out the discounts below for color art. Um, of course you can save 20% off. We also have boom gel stain, Australian flow trial available at pixel paint designs. You can save 15% off. I want to save you guys wherever we can. Um, um, and please join our fluid art friends group. If you haven't already, I love it when you guys share what you make. So thanks for amusing me and watching this. Appreciate you guys. And here comes a close up. Okay. So here's our close up while it's wet, really pretty colors. You can see where the cell activator didn't quite hold up because I put too much flow trawl. But, you know, sort of interesting. Curious what you all think. I'll give you a little clip of the resin result coming up next. All right, everybody. So here's the resin result. I'm going to have to twist it around a little bit so you can see it. You might see my dog underneath me. So, you know, those um, little additions kind of added a little pep Some little fun little details. But yeah, I mean, I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. I think it'd be a cool clock with like some gold hands or some, you know, we'll see. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Here is our little clock. Not too shabby. I don't think I would kick it to the curb. Still not my, my best, but what do y'all think? Good way to practice, right? I already had all the paint on there. There's one minor divot in the resin. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not going to keep resining it when it was sort of a something I was taking a chance on. So, but it won't. It's not really noticeable. So yeah, there you have it.